Hello everybody, I am Brandman19 and welcome to a brand new series in Europa Universalis 4. This time we will be playing as Castile and hopefully turning Castile into Spain while also doing a ton of uh, going out here and colonizing. I kind of want to colonize, you know, all of South America. And I also want to do some colonization maybe down here in South Africa and also in Australia. That's kind of my idea for this. Um, I'd also like to push forward maybe getting... Um, you know, some very strong vassals and maybe even becoming the Holy Roman Emperor, which would give us another um, achievement as well. So there's an achievement for getting, you know, four colonial nations down here. There's probably going to be some, you know, there's probably some others for getting the rest of this too, as well as going to Australia. There's a lot of cool stuff I can do. So anyways, Castile, the uh, government rank is a kingdom. We are Western tech and we start out Catholic. Um, King Juan II de Trastamara, excuse me, that's so hard to say. He's a 112. He's not very good. He's pretty bad, actually. Um, he does have a 19 year old who, uh, son who is a 000, so he's not any better. But so we'll have a hard time early in the game with, uh, our power points and stuff like that. Um, our monarchy points, at least. We do start 333, though. And because we are in Europe, we do get quicker access to the institutions that's nice um spanish ideas starting ideas we get uh spanish traditions which missionaries plus one and morale of armies plus 15 uh, once we get all of the spanish ideas we'll get a uh, spanish ambition which is global settler increase by plus 25 uh we do get the Reconqui uh, reconquista which is discipline plus five spanish inquisition which is missionary strength plus two percent uh, Inter Catera, which is a uh, colonist plus one devout Catholicism yearly papal influence plus two treasure fleet, which is provincial trade power modifier plus 10% and global tariffs plus 15%. Uh, a Spanish armada national sailors modifier plus 10% and heavy ship combat ability plus 10%. And then the last one is Siglo de Oro, which is yearly prestige plus one. So uh, we start with 22 provinces 243 development, 5 fort level, and we start immediately with a truce like with Granada. So, and I'm hoping we can like start off with a, you know, without ri having to rival France. I'd like to rival England, Portugal, and Aragon at the start if I have my choice. So let's go ahead and hit play and see what happens. We're doing Iron Man mode, of course, so we can get those achievements. Uh, and then we're just going to go ahead and set this up as Castile and start our Iron Man. Yes. This is going to be fun. I have a feeling it's going to be really fun. Castile is like one of those first nations they tell everybody, oh, you should play with this one. But it's actually become very difficult recently. Um, much harder to play as them. Anyways, so the Kingdom of Castile, 1444. The Trastamars and the Crown of Castile. Shaped in the battles of the Reconquista, the Crown of Castile is in fact not just one kingdom, but a union of the kingdoms of Castile, Leon, Toledo, Galicia, Murcia, Jaén, Cordoba, and Seville. Under the Castilian branch of the Trastamara dynasty, what remains of the Moorish presence in Iberia is now restricted to the southern kingdom of Granada, still a rich Muslim sultanate in many ways, but also marred by infighting and the frequent border skirmishes with the Christian raiders. Surrounded on all sides by Castilian castles, it seems to be a matter of time before the Reconquista is brought to its logical conclusion and the kingdom is annexed. For now, however, Castile has problems of its own. The Castilian nobles and the local Cortes of the various constituent kingdoms still hold a large degree of power, and many Trastamarian kings have found themselves at the mercy of the estates of their kingdoms. Factions acting entirely out of their own interests have not shied away from supporting foreign pretenders from Portugal and Aragon in the past. If the kingdom can be united by a strong ruler and the Reconquista completed, Castile will have a fearsome military force in its hands with a long tradition of fighting for the expansion of the Christian faith. While Castile lacks the seafaring tradition of neighboring Portugal, they have just as good access to the Atlantic Ocean and the new trade routes that are opening up to the west and southeast. Our religion is Catholic, our government is a kingdom rank, and the environment is pretty much Europe and the Holy Roman Empire, just talking about how everything works in Europe. So let's go ahead and jump in and just take a look at what's going on around us. So right off the bat, England, Burgundy, and Aragon are the ones that have rivaled us. I'm going to set England as one. Yes. I'm going to set Aragon as one. Yes. 
And then I'm going to set the last one to be Portugal. Um, I definitely don't want to tick off, you know, France here. He's gone and used England, uh, Burgundy, and Aragon as his enemies. And he's also added, uh, not Aragon, uh, Austria. And then he's got England, Austria, and Aragon as his rivals. There you go. Uh, first things first, let's go ahead and immediately offer an alliance to Navarra. We want to try to get them on our side. We need to select a naval doctrine. This is new. I'm not sure about this. Hold on. Uh, fleet and being, naval con naval maintenance, modifier, galley combat strength, ship trade power, chance to capture enemy ships, wooden wall. I can't do that one anyway. Um, let's just do fleet and being. That seems to be the most logical out of those. I do have one leader. He's a 2-2-3. Just kind of noticing some things. Um, I do get have 10 here and I have 11 there. We're making 9.72 per turn. Let's take a look at our missions. I have a feeling like they have a much more better mission system. Yeah, look at that. Discover the Caribbean. Build the force limit. Trustworthy allies. High income. Prepare Reconquista. Okay. Yeah, they have a much more fleshed out missions uh, tree here for Castile. I want Navarra though. We've offered them an alliance. Let's go over here to France. Um, can't offer them an alliance yet, but I can improve my relations with them. And then, um, let's see, who else could I maybe work with? Really nobody right now. I guess I could try to... Uh... Building a spy network here. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. All right. Um, let's go ahead and get our time ready to go up a little quick. All right. Here we go. Military Alliance with Navarra has been accepted. Hopefully, I can get a quick marriage with them. I hope they push that, though. There's the marriage with Navarra. Accept. Influence. I need to get them straight up to 190. There you go. I'm the only one working with them, so it shouldn't take too long. I think I'm going to claim Brigant and Porto. Just get those two, take, have Portugal be a vassal eventually. Okay. Yep, truces with them till 1448. Uh, let's take a look at missions. What can I? Well, I guess I should go ahead and look into this. Um, 28. Force limit should be 20. Or combat wit should be 20. Yeah. So let's look at this. Let's go one. Or so I have fourteen and four. I've almost got force limit. Let's go ahead and peel off. Pull them on down. And there we go. Him in. Let's just go ahead and start drilling. Go ahead and start raising everything up. Yep, he's at 132. Missions fulfilled. Build to force limit. Um, expand Castile is another one. Can I make them into an ally yet? No. There's a little ways to go. I might be able to get a royal marriage with them, though, pretty shortly. Oh, maybe not. We'll figure it out. Let's see, 4.47. I'm going to need to go with the admin guys. Um, 
National tax modifier increase, yes. Take some away, but we're not going to take as much away by because we increase our tax modifier, right? That's perfect. And we're just going to spend a few years just doing the best we can, right? Make Granada claim Sevilla. Covert, fabricate claims. I want to first start on Braganca. Braganza. Okay. All right. Be on the lookout. We're going to try again for Porto. Sueta would be really nice to have. I need to see when these guys go to war with England. I need to be kind of like jumping in there if I can. Or I need to uh, ally myself here. So I'm getting to the point where I probably could. Okay. France is working on them. England's working on them. Come on. Let's just go ahead and get rid of this first I get right here. Um I'm gonna give him wanna offer military access to him. He goes up to one sixty four. We already have the same dynasty. We're already working on relations. Um, he's just waiting for that 190. We're going to send a quick gift. There it is. And offer vassalization. On 27th of September. Be nice to have ourselves a vassal, right? There it is. Confirm. There we go. We've got a vassal. All right. Uh, up here. Royal marriage with the French. Maybe later on I'll expand into France, but today I'm not really looking forward to it. There we go, got a nice little alliance there. France is at war with Brittany. Attack against Brittany and the French conquest of Nantes. All right. The surrender of Maine event just happened. They actually just, England just gave them Maine. Okay. All right, I wish that would have gone a different way, but all right, can't make them do it. Um, losing great power status. Yeah, to Castile, to Muscovy. It's okay. I have another free advisor slot. Let's go for this one here. Um, spy network construction. Yeah. And I could do discipline. There you go, we got everything building up faster. Covert actions, build, confirm, yes. He's trying to take Nante. He might get more. Military access from Granada, nah, we ain't gonna work with you, man. Okay, looking good. P 
probably end up yeah, Granada. We'll be at war with Morocco and Tunis. Okay, Aragon's claiming territory. No, Tunis, I'm not going to work with you. Portugal has announced us as a rival. I hope you attack. If you attack, I'm going to run you over. There goes some maneuver increase. Uh, let's see. Gains 15 loyalty, loses 15, gains 10, loses 10. That's fine. Fabricate claim on Porto. Yeah, if I wanted to, va I wanted to kind of like look into vassalizing Portugal at some point. They're currently at. Hundred and sixty nine, yeah, I've gotta take more than that too. Now we're at twenty five point five three average drill. Let's take a look at our missions. Hmm. I gotta get the Navy to the force limit size. I'll do the cog. The cogs will be just fine. Okay. Oh, we're building cogs in our vassal too. Uh, give me these barks. Let's do this. Give me one, two, three. Let's put them there. That's perfect. There you go. I'm just separating my guys out a little bit. These three are going to end up like being my primary exploration fleets and stuff. Okay. Cyprus has disputed secessions. Yeah. Tunis is at war with Aragon and Dejerid. Dejerid. Okay. He also has Naples on his side in a personal union. See this. Reclaim Andalusia. Which I think this is all, yeah, Upper Andalusia. Okay. And then what's after that? There's claims in Aragon. Hmm. Recover Portugal. There's that. That's there. Convert Iberia. That makes it all Christian. Naval dominance, then continue the Reconquista. Italian ambitions. Yeah, conquer the Inca. There's lots to do. Find. I think we're okay for right now. Okay. 
I guess I'm not technically at force limit. Okay. Let's do this. Maintain that relationship for now. Um, total army size at least 100% of the force limit. Did that go up? Uh, yeah, it did. I didn't even notice it. Um, I'm still at 22 for my combat. Okay. Let's go ahead and add those two guys. Might as well, right? And we'll go ahead and complete that mission. Take the 10 Diplo, let's not go the other way for it. Okay. We've prepared for it. I think it's time to declare it. He's not at war. He's not at war. Okay. Well, guys, I think what we'll end up doing is declaring it in the next episode. Um, this episode right here, just kind of preparing ourselves for it. I don't see them. You know, they're at... Who is Kabila? Kabilia. It's Algiers. Oh, it's these guys. Ah, it's not that big a deal. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get those guys started to moving. There you go. And we're just going to focus on taking it. Let's send them over here. Yeah. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to end right here. I appreciate y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe uh, let me know what you guys think or how pumped you are to see us do Castile to uh, Spain. And uh, maybe go ahead and check out Discord in the link in the description below. Sorry, right, guys. I will see you all next time.